Administrator Rose Kane, thanks for joining us. You know, this is really an exciting time. The issues have changed dramatically. The overall traffic fatality numbers from 2015 have gone up. Clearly, that's an alarm bell for everybody. But uh, what do we do? And, and uh, you know, how do we start, you know, trying to reverse that trend? Or at least hoping that it's only a one-year thing and not a trend at all. And last year, we were up at Lives Lost in 2015. Knowing that increase happened, that NHTSA basically um, took that on as a challenge for everyone to figure out what are we going to do. Really two things emerged. One is there's some near-term activities that everybody knows could work. There are certain laws, there's education programs, there's certain high visibility enforcement. Uh, there's just a lot of things we know that work that we aren't using and we should literally on those double down and let's get those going. And those are near term. So over the next three to five years, how could we apply the stuff we know works? But the second is Personally, I really believe the only target that's acceptable for us should be zero lives lost on our roadways. And to get there means, and there are plenty of people around the world and in this country that think vision zero, zero deaths, that this is the only acceptable goal. The challenge has been how do we get there? And so I think part of what NHTSA is looking toward is what's the near term, next three to five years, but we need an activity that's going to look at the next 25 to 30 years, a real path of concrete activities that's going to take the entire community to figure out how we're going to get to zero.